Swedish design uh, has always been very minimalistic from furniture to jeans or, or clothing. The idea actually was kind of uh, selfish. We wanted a store where we would love to work or love to shop. I'm a store manager for uh, Unionville and um, the mother store, Civletto. Unionville is a men's clothing store, clothes with uh, a lot of passion and, uh, and love. The idea was to uh, do something that was completely different from the other stores in Stockholm. Douglas and Hampus, I met them six, seven years ago. We have a brand called Blue Highway and we make denim in the shop actually. So. It's all inspired by 1940s, 50s American clothing. We only do one type of jeans, so, and we tend to keep it very, very classic. So if it was designed in 1940s in one way and still works today, we tend to search for different old stock fabrics. So if we can come across like 30 meters of an old roll from the 1950s, that's, that's what we're looking for. And otherwise it's Japanese brands that do the best denim in the world right now. So We like the idea of a guy building a custom bike. We do like custom denim. So. When I go past a person that's wearing my jeans, I know that he's using my jeans because he thinks it's a good project. So, and it's a, yeah, it's a warm feeling, you know. We decided to go for a very, very simple design on the back pocket. So, if you go back in the history for 1940s workwear, it was kind of common that you did it with straight lines because they're fastening the pocket lining that we used. And it's supposed to be there to protect the lower part of the pocket for getting rips if you're carrying tools in it. So. So one of the main things why we're into denim like we are is that denim, different from other type of fabric, has a very, very nice natural way of aging with the wearers. One good way to tell that this one has been worn by me is to see the fadings where my wallet has been. What's interesting about the indigo is it fades where it creases so you can kind of tell, all right, this, the jeans were too big for this person or too small or they sewed an extra little pocket on it. You start getting the feeling of who wore them and you know that person's dead and been long gone and there might not even ever be pictures of that person. These right here, we always wanted to go to uh, a certain place in Nevada and within five minutes I pulled this out of the ground. It's very rare to find a, a patch that's intact and readable, so that's what makes this pair so special. This is something we've ended up uh, reproducing. I think the key to Douglas and Hampus's jeans that they're making is they have their hands on the product from start to finish, and so the quality can't be any higher. The idea for Unionville comes from this store. Civletto started seven years ago. We have um, a big jeans uh, part, shirts and t-shirts and jackets and stuff, things for your home and some shoes, a barber shop. I would say maybe 90% of the guys come here um, once they're in Pompadour. We wanted to create the best denim store in, in the world, but only selling raw denim, no pre-faded jeans at all. Brands at Unionville, we can actually, we know the, the guys and the girls that makes them. Some of it is actually made in small factories in Japan or in, in, in America or the Blue Highway is made in the store. So it, it feels better for me when I know that these jeans are made of someone that go home to his family at night and have dinner and watch TV or go, go to a bar and, and have a beer instead of not knowing where they're made. <laughs> 